George, top six in Monaco. Please, disappointed. <laughs> what are the emotions? Uh, I think if you told me P6 before the weekend, I wouldn't have been overly pleased. But I think my lap was really strong, probably one of the strongest laps I've done in qualifying all year. And um, so from that perspective, I'm happy, obviously a little bit disappointed that the pace wasn't a bit better. Uh, so we know we didn't really bring anything new to the car this weekend compared to Barcelona, and we knew inherently it probably wouldn't suit our car. Um, you've got to take the positives, but you know, we're here for more. I know it's difficult to overtake around here, but there's some unpredictable weather. There's still plenty of opportunity tomorrow yeah, afternoon. Yeah, bring it on. I think that's what we need in this, in this uh, situation, you know, high risk, high reward, and we've got to go for it. If we if we lose out on a P5 or a P6, okay, it's not ideal, but not the end of the, end of the world, but we want to put it all on the line and go for the win. And um, you often don't say that from P6 yeah. in Monaco, but it looks like it is going to rain tomorrow. I mean, just looking now, it's grey and gloomy. You know, it's gone from the French Riviera being beautiful and sunshine, and now it looks like we're in, I don't know, London. That's so, um, yeah, I'll welcome a bit of rain. Hey, Pierre, you look so quick through practice. You must be frustrating to get knocked out in qualifying so early. Yeah, I mean, I don't really have, uh, don't really know what to say. I'm just so disappointed about the whole qualifying. You know, we, as you say, we were extremely fast all weekend. We finished FP3 and P5. Um, felt comfortable in the car. I was really looking forward to that quali and uh, yeah, I mean, we decided to do only two laps. Uh, start of Q1 when others did three or four. I think when I did my only lap, I was P4, P5 at the time. And after that, there was the red flag. Uh, and then, yeah, we left too late in the last run and Yuki passed the line for one second. I, I got the red. Uh, I didn't manage to, to, to pass it before the red lights uh, came on for, I think, two seconds and didn't have any representative lap time uh, for Q1. So, I mean, we're doing too many mistakes and, you know, that's, uh, that's just the, the case over the last few race weekends. And, um, and yeah, today it cost us uh, extremely and I'm just extremely disappointed for, for everyone, everyone in the team because we, we deserve way, way more than that, but then we just didn't do a, a job good enough. What about tomorrow? At least there's rain predicted. That might give you guys. I mean, the rain based on the forecast that we've seen, uh, it's not going to be very intense. So we start P17, and you no, know, from there I'll I'll pray for the best. But uh, you know, we we know for we know Monaco, we know how it is. It's probably the worst uh, the worst track to start at the back. Now that's that's what it is, and uh, you know, tomorrow I'll get in the car, put the visor down, do the the best job I can, and, and then we'll see what we what's possible.